cool it is! It's Toad! Hi! Hello, Zebra Herd, and welcome to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This is a new game on the Switch, but released a couple years ago on the Wii U, but unfortunately, I never had the chance to play it. Looks like Toadette is waving to us. But it also releases today on the Nintendo 3DS, so I'd love to hear, have you ever played Captain Toad Treasure Tracker before? It looks like a lot of fun. I'm gonna be playing through the full game for you guys right here on the Nintendo Switch. So, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Hello there, oh, come back, come back. Oh, this is so weird. I can tilt this to look around. Oh, okay, that that makes sense. And I have like this little pointer as well. I don't know what that's gonna be for. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm chasing you. Oh, hey, a star. Okay, the first puzzle solved. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> All right, so Toad and Toadette get their first star. Wasn't too much of a challenge, but yeah, that's fine with me. Oh, feathers? What's happening? Oh no. Uh, nothing good. No, our star! We worked so hard for that! We, we were journeying for days, or at least a couple seconds. No! Toadette, too! No, don't take her! Oh, jeez, this is not good. Who does this guy think he is? Didn't even ask if he, if he could take it. He just took it and ran. Oh, boy. Come back! Captain Toad Treasure Tracker! Oh, I love it. That is so cool. So very cool, this begins the journey of Captain Toad, our favorite little explorer. Okay, so uh, it looks like there's two players at the top. I only want to play with one player right now. The secret is in the stars. Ooh, chapter one, Plucky Pass, beginnings. This is very cool, and then there's, I guess, some like unwritten pages. So I guess I can press minus to play in two player mode. Please connect both Joy-Con via wireless. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna be playing single player. Oh, this is so cool, so as you can see, it looks like there's one star to get and three, probably diamonds or something. So this is a puzzle game, if you haven't realized. It's a lot of fun though, it'll be really cool. It might not be your typical hopping and jumping Mario game, but it looks really cool, doesn't it? Okay, so what's going on here? I do see our first diamond, and I can't, oh, I can pull this, so? Can I just climb up? I cannot, oh, here we go. So I can walk up here, we get ourselves a first diamond. How cool is that? Ah, oh, this is so pretty. Now what's super exciting, exciting about this is that Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was supposed to be a little mini, oh gosh, I think I needed to use this and throw it this way. Got it, a mini game in Super Mario 3D World and it was turned into its own full game. I wonder if they'll bring 3D World to the Switch. Oh gosh, we got a shy guy, will he attack me? Can I just toss this at him? Oh, that didn't work. I think I could though, just like, hey shy guy, catch! Ha, <laughs> Super Mario Bros 2 style. So, oh, if I pull this, what is this? Oh, hey, look at that, a pickaxe. Oh, let's go, 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 go. You can destroy all this. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, destroyed those, but how do I get down there? Oh, I gotta plop down like this. No, oh, I was too late. What does that mean, should I do, redo this? Oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab these coins under here, because why not? What does this little sign say? It just says to go to the left. I think I missed my chance. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we learned a lesson, because now we know if we take our time, what does this have? Oh, does it have another one? I think it has another pickaxe, so, oh, hey! Thank you, we got all the little toads here hanging out. Why aren't you helping? We have a toad at the save and you're taking a nap. And I guess one of them is reading a map, so they might be stuck or lost or something. Can I plop down when I get that pickaxe? I think I can, so what I'm gonna do is pick up this pickaxe. Oh no, it's, no, it's not even a pickaxe, it was a mushroom. So I guess I would have to retry to get the other one. Huh, weird. Okay, I'm just trying to look around a little bit. I did see all those coins up there. Is there any way to get those? I think I missed my chance to get those coins. So it seems like there's a couple of things I missed, including a little plant right down here. Oh, okay. Well, I might have to replay the level to get everything, which I'll probably just do immediately after. But now that I've learned my lesson, well, actually, that was just a gold mushroom. Ah, okay. That wasn't even a diamond. Okay, I'm like, oh. But then I realized this is a gold mushroom, which I, I guess the coins are important, but I don't know what they're for. But anyways, we got our first course cleared. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, plucky pass, beginnings, we got all three diamonds, but I didn't collect a golden mushroom, which seems to be like some kind of special thing. Uh, you can now play hide and seek with Pixel Toad. To play, touch the Pixel Toad button on the Nintendo Switch or press ZR. Pixel Toad? What is this? Oh, so I could go back into this level and find Pixel Toad. Find Pixel Toad, when you spot his hiding place, tap him to collect him. Okay, let's give it a shot. I don't see a Pixel Toad anywhere. Oh, Pixel Toad is hiding somewhere in the course. You ha and do you have to find him? 
Tap to catch him and clear the course. Aim with the pointer in TV mode and press ZR to clear the course. You won't be able to keep coins and items collected during hide and seek. Oh no, so this won't really count for the golden mushroom, will it? So we're not gonna worry about any of this. We're just gonna go right over. I think I know where he is. I think he's on the other side of this. There he is, so can I just find him? There we go, I found him! Little Pixel Toad! You got Pixel Toad, yay! <laughs> That's awesome, I love that. Hooray, so we got the Pixel Toad. Is that new to this game? Oh gosh, I didn't wanna do it again. I didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh, hold on, can I cancel that? Or is it just gonna bring me in? <laughs> I already found him, I don't need to do this again. But um, yeah, I don't know if this is new to this game or if this is something that was in the original. Can I quit? Yeah, quit hide and seek. Uh, exit the course, we'll replay this course one more time, get that golden mushroom and then we'll finally move on to the next one. So I gotta be real careful, but if I pick this up, I can toss it at you, I can pick this up and do I have to tap A? Maybe, there we go. So we can go ahead and destroy all of this and I'll try not to run out of, uh, out of time this time. Got it, okay, so I'll worry about that part later. I just need to make sure we can get into here and that's exactly what I did, and we got 50 coins out of that. And you can see a little wanted poster. Huh, I think that's for the bird. So he isn't a good guy, definitely. <laughs> so there we go, we finally got it. Oh, we get a one up if we get 100 coins. Good to know, so I guess if you fail, or die, you know, you only have so many lives. I gotta keep that in mind now, I gotta be very careful. So we'll be doing our best to complete the first world of the game in today's episode and sort of see how that ends up going. There we go, got those coins as well. Pretty cool, but you guys have already seen me complete this level, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the second level now. All right, so there we go, we got the gold mushroom collected and we've done everything else there, which is really cool. Now if you wanna move into world two, we have Walleye Tumble Temple. This place actually looks quite intense. I don't know how many levels there will be like for each world, but I'll just try to go through as much as I can and just have a good time with it. I thought that'd be pretty good. Okay, so, uh, hmm. There's a lot going on here, lots of movement. It's so pretty. Oh, oh no, oh no, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope Toad can swim. Oh, can he? I mean, not really, but I don't see like any kind of like air meter or anything. One thing I noticed is we gotta be careful. This thing can push us right off. Um, Can I go in there? Oh gosh, no, 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 not what I want. I don't know if there's anything in this little pocket this way, but that's what I'm trying to swim to. It's hard to make him swim very quickly at all. Uh, Especially when there's a bit of a current pushing him away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I made it, and there was nothing over here. Okay, I had to make sure, right? <laughs> All right, so if there's nothing this way, how do I get out of the water? Oh, I see. There's a little bit of a slope, and there's also some coins hidden under here. Let's go ahead and try to get these as well. Seems like Toad here can just swim forever. <laughs> Mario can learn a thing or two from I guess Mario can swim forever in some Mario games, but not in Mario Odyssey. Okay, can I toss this at you? Ooh, I can, he's like, ow! Can I do that again? I can. He doesn't appreciate it, but it doesn't do much. Okay, we're just gonna move quick. Oh gosh, this is intense. So if I can look around here, oh, I see. So our first diamond's right there. All I have to do is walk across, wait for this to turn again. There we go. And then get that. Very cool, whoa, don't walk back in the water. It'll be a pain in the butt to get out. <laughs> Toad's not a very fast swimmer, but he doesn't really need to be. Okay, quickly run across. If you hold the B button, you move a little faster. And then I can pull this a little bit. And we get a mushroom, 10 more coins. Okay, so, uh, oh, you can see him, <laughs> hello. Oh, this is so cute. One thing that's tough though is it's a little hard to keep track of everything. Just like we're so zoomed out. It's like, are there a button to zoom in? That would be nice. And we can like zoom around really quickly. What's going on in here? It looks like first off we got ourselves these coins. I hope I didn't miss anything that way, right? Oh, I did. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so I gotta go back. Oh, oh, but I can just fall down here, look at this. Oh man, we feel like Indiana Jones or something. Now I don't know if there's anything down that way. Doesn't look like it, so we'll go back around like this. And we already got, oh, oh no! Oh, I got a little confused there with the angling. I gotta be careful right before I move. I gotta pay attention to where everything is. So we're gonna move quick, move quick. Got it. We should be able to get back quick enough, so I'm not too worried about it, right? Yeah, we made it! So of course there's a bit of a rhythm to it that you had to pay attention to. I got that, I'm gonna come out this way. I love this though, cause it's like a little diorama, and though that's so cool, you know? And one thing that's super exciting about this version of the game, oh, am I doing this right? Oh, there we go, go quickly, go quickly, is that there's also an included 
couple of levels that are from Super Mario Odyssey. You might remember that Toad, or Captain Toad, was in Super Mario Odyssey. He was a little adventure you could find. He'd give you a moon, and you can actually go through some Super Mario Odyssey levels. I did not mean to do that, but hiya. Wait, 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 I wanna toss it at ya. There we go. They'll at least stay still for a little while when you do that, and boom, we got our third diamond. Now, I didn't see anything special I could do in this area. You know, like last area, I had the golden mushroom. Was there a golden mushroom in this level that I missed? I sure hope not, because <laughs> that would be bad. But we're about to find out. Is there anything? Didn't destroy the temples for, oh! Okay, that's sneaky. I guess I can go back and do that. Here's a quick tip. Touch the uh, touch to interact with objects and stop enemies in their track. Oh, really? You can also aim with the pointer and press the R to interact with objects and stop enemies in TV mode. Okay. So I don't know if you guys just want to see me play the normal game and then maybe we'll play it again and get all the secrets, or maybe I should just go ahead and try to do that all in today's episode. I think that's what we'll do in today's episode. We'll try to just get through as many levels as we can. And then next step, or you guys can let me know if for next episode you want me to just do the normal stuff and not replay the levels. And we'll just sort of see what ends up happening. <laughs> but let's try to complete this level without breaking the bridge. The first thing I wanna do is just fall right off, just like that, that's perfect. And then we don't need to get any of the collectibles, so we should be able to do this super duper quick. Oh, that'll be perfect. So let's move back this way. Oh gosh, gotta be careful though, I don't wanna be squished or nothing. That'd be awful. Go around like that. That's so interesting that you can do that without breaking the bridge whatsoever. You can get some easy coins too if we're fast enough. Uh, you know what, I got scared. I just wanna complete the level. <laughs> I backed out. Okay, go ahead and grab that. Or get into this, I'm not grabbing anything. And then we just gotta dodge these two, which shouldn't be too bad, right? I would hope. I don't know if Captain Toad gets taken out in one hit, we're about to find out. Oh, he's Tiny Toad. That's weird, I've never seen that before. I didn't know Toad could get smaller. He's already pretty small as it is. So I guess he takes two hits. And that's what the mushrooms are for, what do you know? So boom, we got that little check. And yeah, we get the little crown for it. Very awesome. So what we're gonna do is gonna go back in and try to find the hidden little pixel toad. This is so much fun. I knew it was gonna be fun. And I was I was just right, you know? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's try this out. Find pixel toad and tap him when you do. So one thing I wanted to try is tapping some of these enemies. As you can see, they can just sort of stay stuck. So I'm looking around trying to find that little pixel toad. Where could he be? I mean, that's sort of the thing. He could be up, down, under, over. He could be just about anywhere, so that's tough. But I'm even looking for him. Maybe on this side somewhere? I'm gonna think so, with all the moving parts and stuff. He'll probably be in this room. I feel like that'd be a pretty sneaky. Oh wait, there he is, there he is! Got him! <laughs> okay, I found your little pixel toad! Awesome stuff. So, uh, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Um, looks like we can move forward if we wanted to. So next level is level three, Touchstone Trouble. This looks cool. Let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what ends up happening. This is really fun so far. I sort of feel bad that I missed, it, missed out on it in the Wii U. So what's going on with these? I think I can touch them and look at that. Whoa, that's both very cool and very scary because I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. So we can move all of them as you can see and for doing that we even get some coins. Okay. So on this side, as you can see, there is one thing, a couple of hidden coins. And then I can pull this, it is a key. Ah, okay. So the star is just right up there. But it might not be as easy as it seems to get through. So to recenter, I don't know what that was saying. With the pointer and pressed an object. Yeah, okay. And then if I press start, it'll recenter that. Oh, I can't get through this with the key. Then let me put the key down and try to see what's going on on this side. Not much for right now, but as you might be able to tell, there is a diamond right here, and then there's a door. And I can't move the yellow one. It looks like I can move the pink and purple, but I can't move the yellow. Oh, no! Oh, too bad. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was scary. So it's, I keep the diamond, but I don't keep my progress through the level. So I need to get the key out of here again. I need to pick up these coins. I need to make sure I don't throw this key like right off the edge. But I can just walk down this way and if, if you see this, I guess I can, oh, here we go. So actually, before I even do that, I wanna go ahead and raise this, uh, put the key down, go on through, get that. So I need to make sure I pick up a lot of coins so I can earn up a couple extra lives. Because I don't wanna, you know, I don't want that to happen too often, I'm gonna let it happen again. So this right here should be what? 
Ooh, it's a diamond, okay, cool. So if we take a look at everything else, oh, it looks like there's something behind there. Oh no, that was where the diamond was. So I don't know what the secret uh, achievement will be for this level, but it seems like it's pretty tough to do those on the first try, because you never know what they are. I mean, I guess now the challenge is, how do I, oh, oh, okay, I see. I can go like this, then I can go like that, then I can lower this and get myself the star. Okay, cool, another puzzle solved. So, uh, course clear, cool. So now what? I mean, I don't know how many levels there's gonna be, so it just might be fun to 100% each one. And for that, we unlock another level, but more importantly, we can go back through and clear course in three touches. I feel like that'd actually be pretty easy now that I know how to solve it. If I'm not worried about the, the dive, and also, Toad is so cute, he's like, ready for adventure. So what I wanna do is I wanna raise this. No, maybe, oh, I can walk through like that. Okay, perfect, two, three, clear. You can just barely walk on that corner. How cool is that? All right, nice little trick to learn. So there's that done. And now I get to look for the little pixel toad. So let's go back in one more time, try to find out. This one's gonna be tough. He could be in a ton of different spots. So I'm gonna be looking for him for sure. Wherever he might end up, I'm not entirely positive, but that's what we're planning to find out. So before I do anything, I'm gonna look around for him without sort of moving anything and see if I can't spot him. So far, no. But now if I move this stuff, maybe I could look around and try to find him anywhere. And if not, that's okay. Let me move this back and raise this one. And just try to look for him again. And I'm just gonna try to do this with each movement, just try to figure out, like now if I were to, now that I move that one, move this one too, he might be, somewhere down here. The thing is is that walking around too much doesn't seem to help a ton. What's great about this level compared to the last one of finding the pixel toad is in the last one, you sort of had to wait and see it move, but for this one you get to move it yourself, which makes it pretty easy to keep up with. Huh. Oh, I think I heard it. Oh, there he is, right here. Got him, <laughs> you're so sneaky back there. You got the pixel toad, so you can actually hear him going bah, bah, which is funny. But there we go, that means there's another level completed, which is awesome. We can move on to level four, Mushroom Mesa. Ooh, I like it. So let's hop into this one. I see some shy guys attacking that poor toad, chasing them down, that's not good. Okay, so lots of stuff going on for this one. I see this happy little owl. I mean, actually, he looks a little angry. I do see our first diamond, so will you attack me? Oh, you will, oh, oh, I don't like that, you're mean. <laughs> so the first diamond was over this way, but I can't quite reach it from here. Maybe from this way? You really gotta use these different angles to your advantage, but there we go, we got the first diamond. And anything this way, ooh, okay, so a couple extra coins, which I need if I wanna get an extra life or two. We got that mushroom, which hopefully I won't need it, I won't become small toad, so I can actually move this as well. Is there anything this way? No. So let's go ahead and get up, perfect. And I have these, and I probably wanna use these to get rid of shy guys whenever I can. I sorta of messed up my chance, but this has become a stealth mission. Gotta be careful about their shy guys. Oh, can I get you with this? Oh, I got him! Nice throw, haha, <laughs> okay. So there we go, we took care of all the enemies, and we get a diamond for that. Awesome, so you gotta make sure you do that kind of stuff when you have the chance. Hmm. So what's going on with all of this? Ooh, you see this right here? Oh, I see, okay, so how do I get into there? Hmm, oh, okay, we're going up now. Oh, I see it right there. So if I were to lower this one one more time, raise it, go this way, yep, behind there. This is so cool, because it's just like a little perspective puzzle. Got it, so there's all three diamonds. I can go back up, and then go up again, and, uh. Be careful of this mean bird. Okay, so now that I'm up here, I wanna go ahead and just toss this at him. Oh no, so I need to be a little bit higher up if I actually wanna take him out that way. Well then what I might wanna do, what is this? Oh, it's the one up, so I didn't get rid of him. Oh no, how much you wanna bet the challenge is to get rid of every enemy and I just messed it up. Oh boy. Here, well, let me lower this, hop on top of it, and that should at least get us in the level. We got all the diamonds, which is good but I'm almost positive the mission was to defeat all the enemies, because it seems like something. I think you gotta wait for him to slam down and then throw the turnip at him. Defeat all the enemies, caught it! <laughs> okay. 
Well, there's that one done. But we'll go back in. We'll try to figure it out. Oh, look, this is the last level as well. I think, I mean, of this little area, it looks like there was another thing there, like another chapter or something, which is pretty cool. But we're probably gonna just do one chapter an episode. But now that I know what to do, let's get to it. I'm gonna let you just do your thing, have you leave me alone. So the first thing I wanna do is bring this down, maybe? No, 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 I just gotta go up like that, go like this, go like that, and grab some of this stuff. So. This is a turnip. I wanna make sure I properly use it to throw at this shy guy. I got him, don't you worry. Grab this, move that way, and use this for the other shy guy. Got it. So you only have to take care of the shy guys for that. Okay, so I have this other turnip, which I don't know if it'll be super useful. I can't even bring it with me. Okay, never mind. So we're gonna go down the ladder, and this should be pretty simple. I know exactly what to do. It's just a matter of getting up there and doing it correctly, because I only have one shot at it. So he's gonna get mad and slam down, and then I toss this at him, and I got it. We'll also get a one up, if it's still here. Yes, it is, so there's four lives. That probably is the best way to earn up lives, of course, is just to find a level that has a one up, and just do that one over and over again, because the levels are quite short once you know the answer. This is so much fun! I'm having a blast! Okay, so as you can see, we've defeated all the enemies, which means it's time for Retro Toad, or Pixel Toad, or whatever it is. I think it's Pixel Toad. <laughs> oh, he fell! Is he okay? Okay, find Pixel Toad. When you spot the, his hiding place, tap, tap him, okay, we already know. We tap him to collect him, blah, blah, blah. So the first thing I wanna do, of course, is before I move too much around, I'm just trying to look around. I'm gonna have you leave me alone, sir, thank you. I'm just trying to poke around each area, try to make sure. I don't miss him. Okay, so he's not in that room. And he's, oh, oh, I see him behind those coins! So you definitely wanna make sure you've been playing through the level to collect everything. But all the coins you find don't count, unfortunately, when you're trying to find Pixel Toad. But hey, very cool! I think that means we've co we've completed every level in this little chapter. As you can see, the next one is the chief chase to Pyro, Py Pyro Puff Peak. That's a little bit of a uh, tongue twister. But I guess I can be next episode, how cool is that? So for now, we are all wrapped up. I didn't know if there's anything else we can do with these levels. It looks like we have fully completed them. We got the, like, the stamp of approval. How fun is that, for sure? So I didn't know if there's anything else in the main menu. Not really, so I think that's where we'll wrap it up. I had so much fun, hopefully you did too, so stay tuned for episode two coming very soon. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Captain Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.